Good morning, grade 2. We're gonna have lesson 18, grammar. The verb be. Do you remember what is the verb be? The verb be takes different forms. We're gonna take verb be in the present time and in the past form. So first we will start with the present. When it tells me about something happening now, so it's present time. The verb be is gonna be am, is, and or. Again, am, is, and or tell about something happening now. Am, is, and or tell about something happening now. So the form of verb be in the present form is am, is, and or. Make sure the form of be agrees with the subject or with the pronoun. For example, when the pronoun is I, so the verb is going to be changed to be am. I am. I am in the present form. If the pronoun is singular, for he, she, and it, so it will be is singular subject or singular pronoun he takes is she takes is and finally it takes is if it's a plural subject or a plural pronoun like they we and you it's gonna be or they or we or you or all this in the present form. Tell about something happening now. The verb be will be am, is, and or. I comes with am, he, she, it takes is, they, we, you takes or. We use is with one. For example, the day is starting, is here singular, and the day here is singular, it's only one. The day is starting. When can we use R? We use R with more than one. The farmers, more than one, or in the fields. And finally we use M with I. I am the. I am the. What about the verb be in the past? The verb be takes different forms also in the past. Was and where. Was and where tell about something happened in the past. Something happened and finished in the past so I'm gonna use was and with. When can we use was? We use was with one and we use where with more than one. Make sure the form of be agrees with the subject. For example here, I takes was, I was busy yesterday. The market, it's only one, so it's gonna take was closed. He is only one also he was sad so I he she and it takes was Anthony and Adam more than one were playing so the plural subject gonna take were playing they more than one were happy so if it's for singular form, the verb be will be was. If it's for the plural subject or plural pronoun, it's gonna be where. Let's answer some exercises from the book. Open please page 32 and underline the correct sentence. You have here two sentences. I'm going to tell me which one is correct and circle or underline the correct one. 
here the sun is out number the second one the sun am out which is correct of course the first one because the sun here is a singular subject so you remember what does the singular subject take yes correct a singular subject in the present form of verb B takes is so the sun is out Number two, the corn plants, plural, concentrate. Can we use is with the plural subject? No, of course not. Super great too. So the corn plants is high, it's strong. What is the correct one? The corn plants are high. Or, why did you use or? Because the subject is here is plural. Do you remember what did we say? Yes, we said if it's for plural subject, we should use are in the present form. Number three, the workers is cutting them down. The workers, more than one. And we use is with plural or more than one subject? No, of course, strong. So, the answer, the correct answer will be the workers are cutting them down the last one I do you remember I is very special I takes what I is watching them or I am watching them super great to gonna be I am watching them I takes am I takes am I am watching them Let's move to page 35, please. We're gonna answer some exercises using was and where in the past form of verb be. Write each sentence correctly. After circling the correct answer, please write it down here. Mama. Mama here is singular or plural? Singular. It means she. So, she takes was and where. Super great was cooking so we will write it down here mama was cooking super the beans is it singular or plural if we find s by the end of the subject so it's plural so the beans is gonna take where boiling super don't forget to write capital letter and put the period by the end of your statement the rice here the rice is uncountable, I can't count it, so it's a singular subject. The singular subject takes was done. Finally, we, it's a plural subject, a plural pronoun. And what did we say about plural pronouns in the past form of verb B? Yes, it takes were, so we were hungry, as I told you. Don't forget to write capital letter and put by the end of the sentence, period. Super, super, super. You are so good today, great too. Let's move to page 41, please. Underline the correct sentence. The road you is here, or the road you are here, the road you am here. Is it singular or plural subject? It's a singular subject. Super so. What what we gonna choose here? Is or are or am? Super is because as we said the singular subject takes is. The second one, the crowds. Is it singular or plural? It's singular? No? It's plural. We find S by the end of the subject, so the crowds plural subject can it be is clapping no of course is it's only for the singular subject it is for only one so can it be the crowds are clapping yes yes sure super great too the crowds are clapping now I want to circle which is a correct answer and write down the sentence correctly Gabriella, she, so it's gonna take was, 
bad teacher. She was speaking super. Her students, more than one, were listening. They were super learning a lot. Don't forget to write capital letter and put period by the end of the sentence. Here is our homework, page 44. Let me tell you what you should do. Do you remember before? Question marks? Yes. Like here, that save. What should we put after save? Comma, super, then two quotation marks. What should we write after the quotation mark? Capital letter. We should finish the sentence and put period or exclamation mark or question mark. And finally, we should put two quotation marks. So, that said, comma, quotation mark, capital letter, period, and question mark. And in the other sentence, that said, we don't have comma here. We have quotation mark, but it's not capital letter. So which one is correct? Of course, the first one. So the quotation mark, before the quotation mark, we should put comma. And we should write the first letter after the quotation mark, capital letter. And don't forget to put that period. Second sentence, I asked it, quotation mark, sorry, comma, but we don't have quotation mark and it's small letter, so it's not correct. Let's see the second one. I ask it, comma, quotation mark, capital letter, question mark, and finally quotation mark. So which one is correct? The second one. Super. So you will underline the correct sentence. Here mom said, but we don't have comma, and we have small letter, so it's not correct. Mom said, comma, quotation mark, capital letter, exclamation mark, final question mark. So this one is the correct answer. You read here the paragraph, then you write each paragraph correctly. We have here five mistakes in the capitalization and punctuation. Maybe you will find comma missing for a capital letter it, and it's written small one. Maybe you will find first quotation mark, but you can't find the last one so I want to correct to the five sentences that are found in this paragraph. Finally, please open page 45. We're going to study here how to connect two sentences as not to repeat the subject. So we can remove the subject from the second sentence if it is the same one. For example here, the weather is rainy and the weather is cool. It's better to combine the subject and make it only one. So the weather is rainy. There is no use or there is not good to say again and the weather is cool. So I'm gonna remove the subject because it is the same and say the weather is rainy and cool. And as an example, the students are reading, the students are learning. So instead of saying the students are reading and the students are learning, it's the same subject. So I'm going to remove the subject from the second se sentence and I'm going to combine them with the word and. The students are reading and learning. Now I want to in this exercise combine the sentence and re with repeating subject. Write the new sentence on the line. Here the animals are eating, the animals are sleeping. So I'm going to remove this period and the subject. And we're going to say the animals are eating and sleeping. They are running. They were. They were running. They were playing. So it's going to be they were running and playing. Sasha was reading. Sasha was writing. I can't hear you. Can you answer with me, please? Super great too. Sasha was reading and writing. The country is growing. The country is changing. So it's going to be the country is growing and changing. Super. 
I'm chatting, I'm laughing, I'm chatting and laughing. Thank you, great to 